want us to go because Welcome back. We're here with Tony Wright. Um, you just saw some of his pieces that were before the kiln. Now this is some of the pieces after the kiln. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to tell us a little bit about what, what we're seeing here? <laughs> well, this is a nice little uh, round wheel thrown porcelain vessel. And uh, I'm just, it's like Christmas morning. I'm opening presents. So I'm, I'm pretty thrilled uh, with what I see so far. But really what's going to happen in the next several weeks is getting these things back into the studio and spending time with them and particularly this one uh, this is the sort of stuff that helps keep things from sticking to the shelf well you got to very carefully get rid of that stuff or you could take a chunk out of your piece so this is what I would consider uh, an exhibition quality piece if I don't mess it up in the cleaning um, it's got a little lid so I've got to get that that stuff off and uh, get that back together this is something the time forming on the wheel. This is actually a type of form my introductory students will be doing uh, do every semester. So I always demonstrate one. And the thing I love about this square bottle is every face of the bottle has a different surface quality. So I didn't have a lot in the kiln this time, but uh, so far I've gotten some great results. Okay, great. So how would you exactly take the pieces from that? How do you take these off? I'm going to soak them in water to see if I can break down this material a bit. And then it's just very progressively going at it with a grinding tool with a very fast um, stone bit. And uh, it's, patience is going to be the most important thing. Okay, okay. Well, thank you very much. There are very beautiful pieces, and I hope I see some more. Do you have any more coming out of the can, or is this it well, so far? Yeah, I, I got quite a few. Yeah. Oh. During the, uh, the loading uh, segment of the kiln cast, we were looking at these things. So uh, if folks saw those and can remember what they looked like before, what I think is really interesting is this bit of color here. Mm -hmm. Now's the time we go, well, how, how did that happen? But, um, so yeah, uh, they look from a distance like a bunch of brown pots, but there's a lot of variation and subtlety of color. So uh, spending time in good light and getting to know the, the surface qualities of the pieces is gonna be the next exciting part. It is, it's so neat looking, look at that. Well, um, I'm told that Megan has so another artist over there, one of her pieces, so I guess we'll go to Megan. We're here with Kathy Ratcliffe, and Kathy, could you tell us um, about your piece here? Um, well, this is just a vase type form that I put some texture on with actually a paintbrush that had been ruined. <laughs> Using the paintbrush, I just put the texture on the piece, and it got really good effects, and you can see it on there. Um, can you tell us about the different areas where the fire hit it and how it got the different effects? Oh, uh, well, the different effects came from the flame going by it it was it looks like it was closer to a second piece right here where it's lighter and there's less flame flash <laughs> all right thank you very much Uh-huh. That'll do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. 
We're here with, da with Davis McNeil, and what you're seeing right now is some of his pieces before they were loaded into the kiln. Davis, can you tell us about this piece right here? Um, it was slip cast tile, which was kind of a bad idea. Just a long process and carved for about, uh, I don't know, uh, a day, two days. Let it dry and, you know, slip the, I think it's flashing slip, blue, red. No, that's, uh, that's farm clay. Farm clay. What's farm clay? It's just local clay. <laughs> and uh, this is a nice little wood ash come from the upper part of the door on the left side, that green right there. I like the drip. And can you tell us about some of the effects where the fire hit it? Um, looks like it was just laid flat like this. The fire rushed by and uh, heated up the slips and gave it the browns and the, so you got a slight blue. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. I mean, we, it goes just right on the side. I had some laying down flat and I had some up, kind of tiled up on angles and they had bigger hooks than this, but they were larger pieces. This is the only one I can really, you know, hold because it's, you know, just one little piece. So have you made a bunch of these or was it just that one? Oh, uh, no, there's a few other small pieces, but I moved to like the bigger tiles, like the one you probably saw beforehand. All right. Well, thank you very much. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 